First we start tracking by activating the OpenIGT link connection and at this time you see the stick representing the needle starts moving and this is just a, a classical needle tracking and the tracking coordinate system is registered to the model in Slicer. So now we are going to turn this into a virtual endoscope so we, we are going to put the camera node on top of the uh, needle tracking transform but between the two we need to adjust the camera calibration matrix so uh, I've created a linear transform put it on top of the needle tracking transform and then I put the camera node on top of this camera calibration transform so that my camera calibration is an identity matrix right now so I'm just uh, moving um, the um, 3D viewer camera using the needle and now I'm, I'm changing this camera calibration matrix so actually I'm aligning um, the point of view so the direction the virtual camera looks at is uh, roughly the same as the needle where the needle points so you see now the direction of the camera is already correct and at, at this point the the other part of the camera calibration is is just the default 3D viewer so by scrolling with the mouse wheel I can adjust the zoom and I can also apply some panning with the middle mouse button held so zoomed in like this uh, I can already use the needle as the virtual endoscope as if the the camera was really at the tip of the needle so now it exactly looks like that